what's the best way to talk to people about the tithing hoax? I'll tell you, so stay tuned. Hey, this is R. Renee. Thank you for tuning in. In today's video, one of our viewers wants to know how to communicate the truth about tithing in the scripture. What's the best way to talk about this tithing hoax? And I have a couple of tips about sharing the truth about tithing or when it comes to talking to people about tithing. One of the first things I suggest is do not argue or debate with tithers. Don't push the truth on them. Here's why. Because there are some Christians who simply can't handle the truth, they don't, they, they don't want to know the truth, or they're not ready to receive the truth. In situations like that, you have to do what Jesus told his disciples in Matthew chapter 10, verse 14. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave their home or town and shake the dust off your feet. Some folks, you just got to leave alone. They're just not ready to hear what you have to say. Don't take it personal. Just keep it pushing. Okay. The other tip I would have to say is make sure you sow into good soil. In other words, share what you know about tithing only to people who are really interested in, in wanting to, to, to know more, to learn more. Share with people who have questions about, about tithing. You know, because when a person has questions, it means they're, they're open for dialogue, good, sincere dialogue and conversation. And so, and this is when you have an opportunity to share what you know about the tithes. And I also encourage you to point them to resources like this channel and any websites or books that speak the truth about tithing. Because by doing this, you are planting seeds and those seeds will multiply in that person's life. And this is the good soil that Jesus talks about in the parable of the sort uh, of the sower of the sowers, excuse me, in Matthew chapter 13, verse 20, because he says, yet others are like the seed sown on good soil. They hear the word, receive it and produce a crop 30 fold. 60 fold and a hundred fold. So these are the people who will really benefit from what you have to share. So let's do a quick recap. How do you communicate the truth about tithing scriptures? What's the best way to talk to people about this hoax? And number one, I say, don't argue and debate with Christians who are not ready to hear the truth about tithing. And secondly, share what you know about tithing with people who want to learn the truth and provide them with what you know and any additional resources for their personal study. So I hope this answers your question. If you like this video and other videos, subscribe to our channel, thumbs up this video and share this video. And again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'm Aubrey Nay. Peace. Want to know the truth about tithing and nothing but the truth? Go ahead and click the link below in the description box and download three free chapters of The Tithing Hoax. Tithing is not binding upon Christians because the tithe command is only binding to the people who entered into the old covenant agreement with the Lord and those people are the ancient Israelites and I just noticed I'm missing an in an ancient <laughs> but anyway excuse my misspelling here <laughs>